Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to do maintenance on your vacuum pump and this particular one is a yellow jacket and uh, you may use it for different purposes you know one of the most common pur purpose of this vacuum pump is uh, for pulling vacuum on your HVAC system so uh, this one is a more expensive model I would say you know there are different ones that are cheaper ones you know this one is probably gonna run your own six seven hundred bucks uh, you know or you can find it on sale for like a little bit less but uh, it's a great pump it pull vacuum you know if you're in the HVAC industry I would highly recommend getting a good pump that is the key guys you know if you don't have a good pump you may not be able to pull the vacuum uh, faster and more efficient you know so this is a good investment this pump will last you forever to be honest with you you know as long as you do the some minor maintenance you know a couple of uh, maintenance items or the oil uh, on this one you have to make sure the oil stays with that level you know it could be a little bit higher but it should not never be low you know because if it's low guys it's going to cause damage to your pump uh, the other maintenance item on this one is uh, once in a while you have to clean this this is kind of like the you know where you pour the oil and sometimes what happens is you know this is also the exhaust so you know this grill and stuff gets dirty you want to make sure there's no debris debris in there you know just Pull it out, clean it once in a while, you know, if you see any any marks and stuff like that, you know, there shouldn't be really be any dust uh, clogging the exhaust, you know, when you're running the pump. Uh, some of the newer models, they have the exhaust right at this handle. In this particular case, you know, it's uh, right here. Uh, the gas ballast, you know, that's another thing. Uh, you want to make sure it's not blocked. Uh, clean up all the debris from here. You know, that's one of the key things, you know, you can technically remove this whole thing, you know, it, but... You just want to make sure nothing falls inside so that's something that you want to make sure it's nice and clean there is this oil tab which is basically you can put some uh, motor oil in there in there you know just uh, pop this out you know just uh, uh, put some maybe a few drops of oil just to, for the motor motor main, maintenance you know that's something we're gonna do later on so uh, these are the few things, you know, as long as you do these things, you know, your pump is going to last you for a long time, guys, you know. So uh, not much to do over here. These are the two intakes. This is, uh, you know, a little bit bigger and this is the standard size. Uh, this open and close, this kind of helps you uh, if you're pulling a vacuum and in the middle you realize that your oil is dirty and things like that. You can uh, basically close it, you know, hold the vacuum and still do your maintenance on the pump. This uh, way you won't lose that vacuum that you have already pulled. It will save you a lot of time. Uh, one of the main things is to change this oil on time, guys. You know, the oil for the vacuum pump does not last you too long. So what happens is when you're pulling the vacuum, uh, it's taking all that moisture and it, it's, uh, you know, it, the oil is getting contaminated with that moisture. So on this particular model, you know, we have this gas ballast, which helps you. So once you start pulling the vacuum on, a, for example, from on an air conditioning system, uh, the best thing is to open this a little bit and let the fresh air in. And what that does is it exhausts all that fumes and, uh, you know, the initial moisture from the line out in the air inst instead of uh, getting your oil contaminated. So this kind of saves you, uh, saves your oil basically, you know, so you don't have to replace your oil that often. Um, you know, but still it's recommended, you know, when the oil gets dirty, you'll see cloudiness, you know, it's supposed to be clear. Uh, mine is due for replacement, so you can see a little bit of cloudiness, you know, and I'm going to replace it now. Uh, but you want to you wanna make sure the oil is nice and clear, you know, and, uh, and it has a life. So when you're storing your pump, you want to make sure you store it at a location where there is less humidity and stuff like that because the moisture eventually will get to the oil from the exhaust. You know, there's a cap that you can seal this area to make sure there's no moisture going into your into your pump, into the oil, getting it com contaminated while you have uh, it in storage. So these are the few things. So today what we're gonna do is uh, change the oil. Now, one of the recommended things on an oil change is you run the pump. You wanna run it for five, 10 minutes, you know, let it warm up, you know, because if the oil is warm, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to drain that oil. But if it's not warm, it's probably not gonna do a, such a good job draining. So this is the first thing we're gonna do. We're gonna turn the pump on and let it run for a little bit. If 
for you later on. You know, I normally just remove this just so there's no restriction and things like that and the pump is running easy. Um, you know, this is in the open position and we're going to run the pump. All right, so it's about five minutes, you know, as the pump is running. So now we're going to turn it off and uh, put this on a higher elevation. And then we're going to unbolt this, this guy right here, the drain plug basically. And uh, all the oil should start draining from here. Okay, guys, so now I'm ready to drain the oil. And the first thing I'm going to do is I remove the cap from here and I'm going to take this plastic piece and just reinsert it and the reason you want to do that is because um, it's going to restrict a heavy flow of oil as soon as you open this you know now if you have a big drain pan and you really don't care about it then you're fine you know but uh, in my case I think I'm gonna I don't have one so I'm just gonna try to store it in this small bottle so just make sure you unscrew this Now you can see the oil is draining. And if I didn't have this, guys, this would be flowing like crazy. You can see how my gasket is all gone, so I'm going to have to replace this as well. And I can already feel that the oil is kind of warm, which is good because now it's going to flow better and I can drain it out better. And now I'm going to go ahead and remove this and you can see how fast the oil started to come out. It's quite dirty. You can see how dirty that oil came out. Over here you can see it's very dirty. The drips that I'm getting is very, very black and dirty. So another tip I can give you is if you have clear oil, pour some in and drain all that black gunk out. So here I have some oil. I'm gonna pour some in there, but before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and I think I'm just going to shake it a little bit. Captures all that gunk. Drain it. There you go, you can see how that dark gunk is. See if I can show you guys. There you can see how black that oil is coming out, and you can see all that dirty stuff coming out. Now you want to make sure you dispose all this oil properly. So get another container. So here, when I'm done with the system draining I just put it down on the towel rag and uh, I'm gonna let it drain so any oil left over can drain on a 
rag, you know, it's hard for you to drain everything, but whatever you can get out. So I'm just going to leave it for like a few minutes and let all the old oil drain out. And here you can see the last few that I took out, how bad and dirty it is. So this can be caused if you pull the vacuum on a system with a burn compressor and things like that. That's why the cr it's critical for you guys to change the oil every now and then, you know, uh, on a decent system. I think you should change it every time you pull vacuum three to six times, you know, depending on how big or small the system was. But make sure you change that oil every now and then. So once this is drained, then we're going to be ready to put new oil. Okay, the oil draining is complete. And uh, now I have to find an O-ring that goes on here to seal. And uh, I had a couple of O-rings, you know. So I think I'm going to use uh, this size, which is uh, 8 by 2, I think they call it. So I think this one fits in perfect. Now one thing you want to make sure is this thing is bigger than the hole that you have for your oil drainage. And mine is, so I'm going to go ahead and put this in. And I think once I close this, it's going to seal in pretty good. So you want to make sure you clean this area pretty good. And then uh, once all this is done, then we're going to be good to pour some oil right from the top. 